It's another episode of Maker Monday and I'm here with Michael. Hi. And he's a working student with us and he has worked on a project to filter the noises being sent to Alexa or Google Home. We're gonna show you what he did, stick around. So Michael, explain to me what you've got here and how it works. Well, Project Alias is um, a filter which sends a noise uh, signal directly to the Google Home or the Alexa if you have it. Um, and the, uh, the other cool thing is that um, you can name it however you want. Like, you can call it Homer. Okay, Homer. That would be a good idea. Google Home, Homer. Like, I see what he did there. Yeah. Just never watch The Simpsons while you, you've got that <laughs> That, that would be bad, yeah. Um, okay, so tell me about the components that you have. Well, first, um, which is kind of the creative part, they build this cloud looking thingy to hold the Raspberry Pi, which is in there. And in the Raspberry Pi, you have to plug in a soundboard, which is behind that. You can see all the credentials and all the how to set it up and in the GitHub page, which we will post probably in the description. Um, well, first of all, you have to the normal Raspberry Pi setup, which is also in the description. And you can go through the whole GitHub page by Bjorn Karman. Well, first of all, you have to um, install the sound driver. You do that with the code um, all in uh, on, on the Pi. Then I right away came across an issue with, um, I can show it here, with installing TensorFlow in Keras. Um, somehow that code line here um, didn't work. Uh, there was always a, an error and um, but I've managed to fix it by installing it separately. So first install TensorFlow and then install Keras, mm -hmm. which made it work somehow. I don't know why. As I said, the most important thing, it works. Like, it works. And you just go through the, all, all the other things, like you have to install the required modules, Python 3 um, stuff, and then you can get the alias project um, with that code here. Okay. Um, and it's on your um, Raspberry then. Mm -hmm. um, I came, there was a problem right away because somehow the program didn't start. I can show you here. Um, this is the file that should um, run the whole thing. When I try to turn it on with uh, the studio function in, in the Raspberry, it doesn't, I somehow it didn't connect and somehow it didn't work. Mm -hmm. So, and I saw in, in some forums they had the same issue that somehow the app.py um, application didn't run. Um, what I managed to solve the problem is you have to open it here. Maybe there's another way, but uh, I did it like that. This is the Mickey way. This is the Mickey way, way. The easiest way <coughs> to just have it open here directly. Mm -hmm. And then you have to push the run button. Oh. And that basically runs the whole program okay and then it works so you've gotten the software onto the into raspberry the pi. pi what is the next step next step step is to to train it um <clears throat> as we said we can rename it mm. so you can train the raspberry pi to listen to another name let's call it homer so what what it does is it sends a noise signal to the microphones and if you say homer the raspberry pi will play okay google so okay. Google will be activated. Right. That's a cool thing. <coughs> um, and we can, I can show you how that works. If we run the Pi now, I turn it on by clicking on run. There you go. Ah. You yeah, can I can hear, hear a little white noise there. When I say Homer, um, the Raspberry Pi sends OK Google to the microphones of Google and then Google's the gates are receptive. Open. Receptive, okay. yeah. And okay. then you can ask it anything like, well, yeah. the only thing is, well, your data is with Google in case of asking it questions, but the it doesn't listen to everything else. Everything you can't else, hear like, uh, amb ambient sounds or you just wandering around your living room having discussions with it. your family. And that's the idea of it. And how you train it is the following. Go to your browser and type in raspberry pi dot local 50 50. Mm -hmm. And then this will come up. Okay. Um, you will see that you have several options. One important part is the background sound, which should help to train also the alias mm. to filter 
normal conversation stuff. Yeah. So we have to do that first. Okay. We have to have a background conversation so that it can train, right? Yeah. So tell me about how we came up up with this project. Why why are we doing this? One of our colleagues um, saw the, the the GitHub page of, of uh, Bjorn Carmen and thought it was a cool idea for um, for a Make a Monday episode. Okay. And Patrick, our director, asked um, if somebody is up to try and trying it out and um, I said well if it's for if it's doable for a guy like me mm -hmm. um, a working uh, student a working student I'll give it a try right I uh, I see that it's got a flashing light it seems to be going in loops so like it, it's uh, creating 135 records, examples two or three seconds and <clears throat> you should you can do as many ex examples as you want yeah um, and you should try different things like watching some series on, on Netflix and stuff like that because the normal stuff you do at home shouldn't interfere with with the microphone. Okay. I also played some music because the thing is uh, Google Home can also play Spotify. Um, so it doesn't interfere with when you listen to mu music, it always uh, it also can turn on mm. the alias. Okay. How many do you suggest we have? We've got 161. Well, we got 161. I think that's enough because we don't have music here. We'll go back to the menu again. If we turn it off, mm. we can now record the the name we want to give it. Okay. So let's say it's called Homer. We'll train it. I'll say Homer for they recommend four to six times, not too many times, <laughs> because then um, various things can activate it. So. But that's a problem we'll come back to later. All right. I'll say Homer six times, so be quiet now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Homer. 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 <laughs> that was beautiful. Now you can see that. And this is also the problem. Um, I'm just talking in my normal voice, and this is the difference to a, a, a voice recognition, and I, I'd call it a frequency recognition okay. because it recognizes the frequency of my of my voice. So if I say Homer, I could say also phone. Right. It's the same frequency. Say, yeah, it's, it's not picking up the uh, the, the actual in the word. phonetic sounds. And that's the big problem um, of of that alias project. I also tried some very um, outstanding things like uh, trying to have three different toys like uh, huh, huh, yeah. to get some frequency yeah, 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 yeah. uh, which is totally different to normal sound right but it didn't work uh, how i wanted it okay but let's let's give it a try anyways <coughs> so what we have to do is we have to go back to the menu and train elias and this takes a little while because now it's um training the raspberry pi to get used to our homer homer name yeah. and the background sound we recorded before. Right. Oh, there you go. Okay. So now you can see there's uh, there are some issues that um, alias all, uh, is uh, activating the whole time. The whole time. And that's the big problem I came across. And um, I checked the forums and they also have the same issue and I couldn't fix it yet. Yeah. Also, not with the background noise. You, I, I tried watching series, watching, uh, listening to music. It somehow always activated it, and uh, at some point it created a vicious circle that the Google noise, or the, the woman talking, um, activated um, <laughs> alias again. Oh god! So it kind of never turned off, and as you can see, it, yeah, we, we, we're, we're not saying activated. Homer. No. It still no, no, activates, no. activates, activates. So okay. we're just talking, yeah, and that's not a good. Well, it's not useful for uh, having it at your home if it turns on Google all the time. But now, is, if I ask it to do something, will, will it recognize that it's supposed to do something? Homer. What is the weather in Nuremberg? No, it's not even activating. No, it's activating. What is the weather in Nuremberg today? Today in Nuremberg, it'll be such. It'll be. Okay, and so there it, just, you go. But it blocks off immediately, right? It blocks off immediately because it's activating again. And if you uh, interfere with Google, it will stop. Okay. So, so it's, if you say, "Okay, Google, tell me the weather," and you say, "Okay, Google," then it automatically yeah. stops. So it's it's a vicious circle which yeah. never stops. Yeah. And Google, you can't get information. So out it's of it's pretty Google. much useless in this constellation. In this constellation, Sorry, it's useless. I'm not sure how to help with that. 
We know, Google. We know. <laughs> so you can see it's activating all the time, which is not a cool use case for no. using it at, in your home. No. Uh, so this is where we can um, reach out to people, watch, to people who might be watching the show. Like, how do we get further with this? And it's not just us, right? It's from the sounds of it, it's the people in the, the community uh, for, the, for the alias yeah. stuff. They, uh, all the people said it activates to any kind of sound. And yeah. I think that's due to having a frequency recording here and not a classic voice recognition like the Google Home has yeah. it. Like, it doesn't react to, uh -huh, uh -huh. It, activ it activates if you say, OK, Google. So yes. the two words, OK and Google, yeah. are the important thing. Yeah. Yeah. If we can integrate that into the Sorry, Raspberry Pi. I don't know how to help with that yet. <laughs> I'll unplug it so we can. So we can talk in peace. Yeah. Damn it, Google. Damn it, Google. Um, if we manage to get an actual voice recognition on the Raspberry Pi, yes. um, that would be awesome because we can um, teach the word Homer yeah. to it. And um, it only activates when you say Homer. And yeah, that's which is actually the how it's of, supposed to work. Yeah, that's how it's Lots of work to be done here, folks. So if you have an idea of how this can go, further or any, maybe a different way of doing it that could work more efficiently. We would love to hear about it. Make a note in the comments, get in touch with us somehow, right? Yeah. Click the little bell so you get notifications and uh, look out for the next episode of Make a Monday coming at ya. I have no idea why I said coming at ya. <laughs> like, why would you say coming at ya?